Hi everybody, it's me, Crystalline, your proactive and conscious aging life coach. How are you guys doing today? I'm joyful in the Lord and in the power of His might. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video. And if you'd like to make some comments, I most certainly want to hear them. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for being back here on another video. Well, you guys, uh, I got to tell you something that's going on with me. And um, I don't know if you noticed, but at the end of last week or the beginning of this week, this is Wednesday, September 14th, I was supposed to make my video on the art of conversation episode three which is a part of crystalline's charm school series and i haven't made the video and i'm going to tell you why okay i have been having some health challenges and at first i wasn't going to say anything about it but then i thought about it well you know my my channel is wellness and beauty across the lifespan and so when you don't feel well that's part of wellness right so i'll tell you what's going on um a few weeks ago i got sciatica and so what happens with sciatica is it starts in your back it's very painful it starts in your back and it, it'll radiate down one of your legs so what happened was I was out in the garden gardening and I guess I stooped wrong or bent over wrong or whatever um, and it, my back started really hurting. It was very, very painful and then it started to radiate down my right leg, okay? <laughs> and I'm trying to show it to you as if you could see the pain, you can't, but um, it just radiated down my right leg. And it did get better, and it has been getting better over the last two weeks. But then, what happened, okay? <laughs> the next thing that happened, I developed bursitis in my elbow. And I'm going to show it to you. It's really embarrassing, but I'm going to show it to you anyway what it looks like. This is called bursitis. And they actually call it olecranon bursitis, and they call it Popeye's elbow. Y'all better not laugh either, okay? And actually, yesterday I went to the doctor and I had it drained. And as you can see, it's right back to where it was. And so I'm pretty upset about that. Um, but what happened was my doctor did not give me a cortisone shot, which she should have. So when I get home, I'm gonna have to call her and get a referral to an orthopedic specialist so they can drain this um, bursitis and give me a shot like I need, okay? So if you can imagine, this, um, this bursitis is not painful and basically it's just kind of like a gel-like uh, substance and it's not painful, thank God, but it looks like hell. <laughs> you know, it's, it's embarrassing and it, it's showing me that there's inflammation of my bursa. Now the bursa is like the little gel-like pad that's in between the bones of your joints. I mean, excuse me, in between the bones. And so when the bursa becomes inflamed, you'll have pain there. I also have it a little bit back here. So basically on October 3rd, I'm going for an MRI and I'm gonna have my shoulder done and I'm also gonna have my hip done so that we can get a firm diagnosis and see what kind of treatment I need exactly. So that's what's going on with me. I just, I'm, I'm on my walk because they say with sciatica, if you can walk, if the pain is not that bad, just go on ahead and exercise to the extent that you can. So yesterday I did go to the gym, although I modify, I don't use as much weight as I normally do. And what did I do on Monday? I went bike riding on Monday. And so what I have found out though, is like with the bursitis, I'm just going back and forth with my hands because I'm gonna show you something. And please forgive the background noise because I'm just out here. It's a lovely, beautiful day here in Michigan. And I'm kind of on a main road that goes up from my house up to another main road. It's two miles, okay? 
So I'm just out here trying to continue with my exercises to the extent that I can. They say that it's better to keep moving because if you don't keep moving, you're gonna lock up, especially with the shoulder impingement. So uh, one thing that the doctor did not tell me, and it makes me mad, because I shouldn't have to doctor myself when I'm paying to go to the doctor, you feel me? Uh, anyway, I got this Ultra Wrap Athletic Bandage and I'm gonna wrap up my bursitis and I also ordered a compression sleeve to go on my elbow because you can't just let stuff, you know, swell. You see how big that is? That's uncontrolled swelling. I can't just let that keep swelling on my body. So I'm gonna get a compression sleeve and uh, after my MRI, I'm getting a referral. Actually, like I said, I'm gonna call when I get back home, but I'm going to an orthopedic specialist who can do a, a little bit more than my regular doctor can do. And in the meantime, I am doing some home remedies. Some things that I read that you can do for bursitis is you can have, um, you can take apple cider vinegar in water at least once a day and what that does is it helps acidify your blood a little bit and helps to take the inflammation down. It also said that you need to eat a lot of vitamin C and pineapple. <laughs> so that's what I had this morning. I had for breakfast, I had a, a big orange and a whole bunch of pineapple and that's supposed to help with the inflammation. I also put ice on my elbow for 15 minutes and I'm gonna do the icing 15 minutes a day, at least, I mean, excuse me, 15 minutes, three times a day. So I already did it once and so I have two more times to do it today. So you know, I, I can't wait for the doctor. I gotta try to help myself the Lord is the great healer. So if you guys are watching this video, I would appreciate it if you would pray for me. Uh, and if you have prayer requests, put them in the comments because I'm more than happy to pray for you too. I believe in God and I believe in the power of prayer. So please, you guys, keep me in your prayers. And as soon as I feel a little bit better, I'm going to go on and make my videos that I normally make because I had so many like on the agenda I have like three on the agenda I have the battle of the powder foundations I have the art of conversation you know so what was the third one I don't know anyway I'm sure you know what I'm talking about because when you are having problems in your body it's really difficult to focus on something else you know it's just difficult and I'm not having that much pain, but it's like in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, I got to call this doctor. I have to do this. I have to do that, you know? And so it's, it's, um, it's just taking my mind off creating my content right now. And actually I had my whole video written out and planned for the art of conversation. And I was just about to record it and dang dog it. If this, uh, bursitis didn't come up. And so then I got preoccupied with finding out how to treat it and what I should do. So, you know, guys, just bear with me, stick with me. I appreciate you guys uh, watching my videos. And just as soon as I can get those videos recorded, I will record them. But I didn't want to leave anybody hanging just in case you were waiting for me. I wanted to let you know what was going on with me right now. And like I say, Please pray for me. Don't stop watching my channel, guys, because I'm going to keep you up to date with how I'm doing and what's going on, okay? So thanks for watching this video. Like I said, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Give it a thumbs up, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.